Hey guys, it's Katie and Gizmo. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a collab with you. This is five Dollar Tree DIYs. Partnered with Backwood Barbie and she did her own Dollar Tree DIY video. So be sure that you stop by and check her video out. Um, leave her a comment, let her know that I sent you over. And before I get started, I do want to remind you guys to please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video or if you just enjoy Dollar Tree DIYs, DIYs in general. And um, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you stick around if you hit the subscribe button down below. And um, let's go ahead and jump into this. So the first thing that I made was this um, succulent garden planter. These are all fake from the Dollar Tree. Um, how are you interested, Gizmo? Um, so basically what I did is I just started off with some succulents from the Dollar Tree, some foam rounds, and a plastic dish. And then I also used some white rocks to fill it. So all I did is I just pulled out the succulents from their little pots, got as much of the glue gunk off as I could, and took off the tags. Then I put both of the little foam discs into my planter and then poked in my succulents and just sort of arranged them the best way that I could. And then filled in the container with those white um, floral rocks. I love how it looks. It looks so realistic. You can't even tell that it's fake. And I like that I can put it somewhere that I don't have to worry about it. I actually have it in my kitchen right now and I'm kind of liking it there, but I could also put it inside the bathroom or something um, where it's not gonna get a lot of sunlight and it's not gonna matter. Up next is this little framed picture. And I just started with a frame that I got at the Dollar Tree, took it apart and spray painted the frame white. And um, I put this little picture in that says, be a pineapple, um, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. And originally I thought about just making my own principal. Was kind of looking for stuff and then I just decided to get on Etsy and I think I paid like $3 and some change for this. I don't think it was more than $5. Downloaded it and printed it myself. But you can put whatever you want in there. You don't have to go buy a print off of Etsy. You can use a family photo or something like that. But I do just really like how it looks with the white. It changed it a lot from the silver. And um, you can actually find a lot of images like this as well on Google that are free to use um, for personal use. I just happened to really like this one that I found on Etsy and decided to support their business and pay for it. Okay, so next are some candle holders. Okay, excuse the voiceover here, but I realized I did a really crap job explaining this the first time. Okay, so I used little candle holders and I made a shorter candle holder and then a taller one. So using clear E6000 um, to make the taller candle holder, you want to basically glue two small candle holders top to top and just put the E6000 all the way around and then just set it aside. Um, for the smaller one, you do the same thing on the top of the candle holder. Put a good, generous amount of E6000 and then put it on an upside down candle plate and then just kind of mash it there. You want to leave these alone, let them sit like overnight. Um, so then after I've let the top one dry or the taller one dry, um, I'm going to just put more E6000 around the top of it and then repeat the same process where I'm gonna put it upside down onto one of those little cake plates. And then again, let this one dry overnight. It needs a full 24 hours before you put a candle on top. This is my next DIY, and we're gonna kick this back to like elementary school. And all I did is I took some hardback books, and I picked some up at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can use books that you already have, or grab some at Goodwill or whatever. I mean, you don't have to use, you don't have to go buy books just to do that. But I just grabbed some wrapping paper and um, wrapped them up the same way that you used to in school to keep your books safe and covered. And I love how these look. Um, these would look really good in any color, and if you wanted to, you could write on the spine of the wrapping paper and you can change this out seasonally. Um, I just have the two on the mantle right now and I think I'm gonna add more because I really, really like how it looks. And the last DIY is so ridiculously simple. I took this, um, it's sort of like milk glass or not milk glass, um, like a milk vase, milk jug style vase. There we go from the Dollar Tree. Some of those leftover rocks, some of the leftover rocks from the succulent garden and these little purple flowers. And um, I'll show you in the video that looked pretty good and um, all I did is just 
so easy. I kind of feel guilty showing this as a DIY. But I literally just poured the rocks in and cut apart the flowers and stuck the flowers in. But I like this because it looks a lot more expensive than it is. Like, what do you think, Gizmo? I think it looks like something that you would pick up at Ross or TJ Maxx or even like at Ikea. Something that you would pay a lot more than, you know, the $3 that it costs to make this. And considering I already had the rocks left over, you're going to fall off. Considering that I already had the rocks left over, this is like a $2 craft. So I absolutely love this. I think it looks so good and it just looks nice and springy and bright and I really, really like it. All right, that is it for my $5 tree DIY. Please once again give the video a thumbs up. It does help my channel out so very much. And if you are not already subscribed, I would love to have you stick around and leave me a comment below if you guys have any future DIY requests and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.